Well, after an enthralling performance last night, it's uh, with my pleasure that we welcome Matthew Kelly from Waiting for Godot. Matthew, welcome to Good Living. Thank you very much. You do have Good Living here, don't you? We a do. health a thong, followed by a chocolate cake. Perfect a combination. Want for more. Perfect. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on your performance last night, Thank along you. with the other three cast members. It, it, was incredible, very hard to explain the difference from when we see you now to when we see you on stage is scary and amazing. Oh good, I'm glad it's scary. It's really scary. Yes, mm, mm. my character Pozzo mm. is, um, is a bit of a madman and um, oh, I love those parts, but the makeup is based on a 1920s uh, silent film villain, but I also oh. wear a fat suit. You just thought I'd let myself go, didn't you? You thought I'd been on that oh, chocolate cake. Like, mm. I've had all the pies, love. <laughs> and when I have the fat suit on, I'm over 20 stone, and I have a hat, and I have lifts on my shoes. I'm over seven foot tall. And... Um, Ginormous. He, he, the effect is quite amazing. Oh, great. Yeah, it's oh. really good. You know, with Pozzo, can you say your first lean when you yell out your name, which is really quite... What? Pozzo! It's a bit of a theatrical event, actually. It I'm is. It kind of loses its flavour. But no, that, that gives us a good indication of also the kind of character that Pozzo is as he, well. He, he's vicious and he's vulnerable and he's, uh, he's quite sensitive and he's quite scared. And in his relationship with uh, his slave, which he has on a rope, who is called Lucky, <laughs> um, and actually I think he is probably the luckiest uh, man in the play, mm -hmm. strangely, you don't know which of them actually has the power. Sometimes people are frightened by waiting for Godot because they think they don't know what it means. But and they think we have to find something in there. Sometimes. Well, that's the great thing about Beckett. You can find whatever mm. you like in yeah. there. I mean, in the end, it's just about two men waiting. That's all. They're waiting for something. And that's what uh, Beckett understood. He understood that we're all waiting for something. Mm. We're all waiting for that chocolate cake here, <laughs> for, in <laughs> for instance. Yeah. And, uh, your viewers are going to be lucky to get that. I've seen it. <laughs> it looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, did you have any kind of preconceived ideas of your character before you accepted the role, or how you thought you would portray it? And what oh, yes, I had loads of preconceived ideas, but had all them knocked out of me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, once you get a discussion about how, how you want to play to be... And, and uh, of course, I was working with Ian McKellen, um, who had who had done the play for six months already. So, That's right. So we kind of had to fit into a production in a way. But he was fantastically kind, you know. He's ever such a nice man. You know, I, I'm terribly starstruck. I'm really awful, actually. <laughs> you and me both. I know. Do, you, you, do you know what I mean? You are a bit. And because when people are working with somebody famous, I do exactly what everybody else does. They go, what's he really like? Mm. <laughs> well, he was, he was wonderful to me. Yeah, he seemed uh, like a really and nice still is. And they're a fantastic team. There's a team of four, plus uh, the boy who appears, who's like an angel, at the end of each act. He's from Wellington, Chris. I was going to say, so he, he's a New Zealander, isn't he? Yeah, he's travelled down with us from Wellington. He was so good in Wellington. He's brilliant. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, and he's, he's absolutely delightful. Uh, but but the, the four boys together, we've had a wonderful tour. This is sort of the end of our yes. proper commercial tour. Um, at the, at the theatre, right? The Isaac Theatre, right? Isn't, it Isn't that a beautiful theatre? Yeah, we're so lucky to have it here. It well, uh, you've been very good preserving it, you know, mm. because a lot of those theatres have gone. And it's absolutely stunning. And to have got a reception last night like we, mm. like we got, it was extraordinary. That's great. Particularly for a play like Waiting for Godot, which can be quite demanding on an audience. But it's very funny, isn't it? Yeah, I know. This Do, really were you surprised funny how funny it was? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think just the, um, the level of the acting work that we saw last night was a real treat, a real treat to see it here. And I, I strongly advise anybody if that you haven't booked your tickets yet, because you've really only got two more days, to, to make sure you, that you don't yeah. Because it is an event, really. It is an event, yeah. Mm. In fact, it got an award for being an event in London. It was like the event of the year. Mm. It was, it must have created this award, <laughs> the event of the year. Um, we've got only three shows left. We've got two shows today, um, a 1 o'clock and a 7.30, and a 7.30 show tomorrow. And then we go, we leave on Friday morning. And then we have to go, well, I'm going to go and see uh, my daughter, who's just had, just had a baby. Oh, congratulations, in, in Dad. I know. She, was, she had the baby while we were in Sydney. Then we have to go to uh, Cape Town, where we're going to go and... Our swan song to the whole thing is to work in a township uh, for 
we're not getting paid. We get, we're, we're going to get some expenses, and we're going to work in townships in in the uh, mm. in Cape Town. That would be amazing. And then and then that's the end of that. Now, but I must make sure that everybody knows that there are affordable seats yes, as well right. as this, because because I think it's quite pricey. Mm. But there are affordable seats. That the, the cheapest seats are twenty nine ninety. Brilliant. Yeah, for for students who go on the day, mm. Mm. you know, and it's not quite sold out actually. It's done really, really well. Was it full last night? Yeah, it seemed to be. Yeah, yeah it looked and, great. So call the box office and find out because there's yeah. a, some ticket price ranges. Uh, there for everyone. Big, which is the, big ranges, yes, and especially for students and and young people. Great, yeah, making it affordable, which yeah. is wonderful. Are you enjoying the change from presenting back into your love of acting? I know it's been a few years now since you've given up uh, stars in your eyes. Well, it is. It is a yeah. I loved that show. We loved it too. Oh, thanks. I was on it for eleven years. You know, and I finished it about seven years ago, and uh, I had such a lovely time with it. Yeah, but there were loads of people at the stage door last night who were all going tonight, Matthew. I'm going to be. <laughs> and isn't it funny having a catchphrase that you can't use yourself? Some people come up to me in the street and they go, "Oh, go on, say that catchphrase." And I go, "Well, I can't say it. My name's in it. Why would I say it?" I know. It to you? I know. That's the thing about it. But it has been. It's a huge phrase. Tonight, I know. Matthew. I'm going to be. I want you to know, Megan. I am very proud to be the Matthew <laughs> you in tonight, are. Matthew. I'm going to be. But yeah. There was a girl there who'd been on you, because you had your own version of the show. Yes, we did. Yes, with our host. There was a girl who'd been on the show, Naya Twain. Yeah. I don't know who she was, but uh, I give her an Oscar. <laughs> In fact, I took her autograph, I think. <laughs> but you're, you're so great on that show as Matthew Kelly, the presenter, that you made everyone seem, regardless of what you thought about their performance, you somehow made them seem like they did the best job in the world, which was great. Well, I thought they did, you know. Mm. I mean, I, I actually meant it. I used to spend a lot of time with them. I never sat in the dressing room. I always sat in the studio for the whole two days that it used to to, to, to make the show. That show, though, it really did. Well, in the end, they're doing all the work and I'm getting all the money. <laughs> Perfect Who could want for more? <laughs> you, know what I mean? you went from stars in your eyes. I mean, Cold Blood, which is, was another one where your character, even thinking about it now, sends ch chills down my spine. A serial killer. Oh, wow. and, and I killed him off as well. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have done that really because it was such a great <laughs> character. I really regretted it afterwards because we did five episodes over three years, and he got creepier and creepier. He really did. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> me and me and Gemma Redgrave and John Hannah. We, we used to be in those small um, uh, cells uh, doing terrible interrogations and saying awful things. Well, I've never laughed so much in all my life. <laughs> Shocking behaviour, you know. But it's the only way to do if you've got 14-hour days in those very cramped surroundings, you know, and, then, and you have to say awful things. The only thing to do is have a laugh. Yeah. But I do like those creepy parts. I, I, nearly all the parts I play now, if they're not creepy, they have, a, they have to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Well, it saves you having one in life, I think. Well, exactly. Potso is the same. I well, know. he has several breakdowns during the show. And no wonder I've got no voice left. <laughs> no wonder. I mean, that, yeah, you're bellowing out there on that stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but, but it's a great release, you know, especially when you're playing in the dressing up box. Mm. You know, to actually express yourself like that is a great way of fulfilling yourself. And of course, we'll be working with uh, Ian McKellen and Roger Rees, who are at the height of their powers. I mean, Ian is 71 now. Mm, that's incredible, I know. It, and his physical presence on stage, I was very surprised. It's like, extraordinary, isn't it? around there, no problem. I know, and he's such a delightful person. But um, it, I think what's great about a show like that is it has a spirit, and the spirit comes over the footlights. It really does. Yeah. It honestly does. You do not want to miss waiting for God. And Matthew Kelly, such a pleasure to meet you. You lovely Thank you very girl. much for popping in. Thank you. <laughs>